Hello, my loves, and welcome. It's me, Taz. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. I'm doing another new to me product review. This time, we are going in with the MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation. This is my first time ever using a MAC product aside from a lipstick, so I'm super excited. It looked right in the store, but you guys know how the lights in Ulta can be, so I'm hoping I got the right shade. But I am super, super excited to try this out with you, so thank you. Give me just a second, and we'll get right into it, okay? All right, so now that I've got all my products and my utensils out, we are going to get into this review. As you can see, I have my claws from Dead Girl Claws. I believe this was the 420 set. I'm not exactly sure, but look at that artwork. Look at how cute that is. And the shift in this polish, baby, yes. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Please go check out Dead Girl Claws. You can use Shop Pay, so you can split up one set of nails into four super simple payments of less than $15. It doesn't get any better than that. Or you can just pay for it all at once. Um, but I am from Colorado, obviously, so we had to have the 420 nails on. All right, let's get into this review. Now, obviously, MAC comes in their standard box. Now, this is supposedly 209% more hydrated skin instantly. We'll see. 24 hour hydration, 80% skincare base. We love that. I love that these brands are actually including skincare in their foundations now. This one has hyaluronic acid, excuse my tongue, medium buildable coverage, a radiant glow finish, which I'm super excited about. Me personally, I'm getting away from matte foundations. Um, matte was cool when I started. It's cool for pictures, but I really want a makeup that I can start wearing every day. And I have actually started wearing makeup more uh, on the daily. Excuse me. And I want to do more of a dewy natural finish instead of looking like I'm wearing a mask. This says 12 hour wear. Now, 24 hour hydration, but 12 hour wear. We'll have to investigate that further on their website. I'm just checking out what it says right here on the unit carton. Transfer resistant, non creasing, non caking, and does not clog pores. No creasing? We'll see. We'll see. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we'll do like Jeffrey does and kind of shake it out. And ooh, it's pretty. Now this is a glass. I can get my, my tweezers here. You can hear that that is glass. I love this cap. So there's the closed. And all you have to do is just boop. And she's ready to pump. Uh, I am in shade 17. I'm sorry, NC 17.5. It looked good in the store, like I said. We'll see how it does. So we'll give it a good shakey, 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 shakey. Now I'm not gonna use any concealer just because I wanna see what the coverage of the actual foundation is by itself and then see how other products kind of work with it on top. That and the concealers I have are just crap. They're garbage. <sighs> I wanted these to work so bad, this Essence Beauty uh, keep me covered concealer. I wanted this to work so bad because the packaging reminded me of Soap and Glory's kick-ass formula. Don't waste your money. These have caked and flaked and creased and just bleh with everything. So if you have more mature skin, um, like I do, fine lines and wrinkles under your eyes, wrinkles on your forehead, don't use this concealer. It just, for me, it did not work at all. And I'm just being honest. So these are actually going in the trash. Now I am gonna, I usually apply with a beauty blender. I'm gonna apply this with a brush. I feel like because of the formula, because it's a serum base, it'll work better with a brush. But we'll see. God knows I've been wrong before. So to prime, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And this is another new to me kind of product. So we're just gonna Ooh. Oh, shit. All right. Ooh, a little bit more primer just to touch up. 
couple spots that I feel like didn't really get covered. As well as they should. Oh, right here in the creases. I always crease right here. Which is why when any foundation says it's non-creasing, I'm always very skeptical. Um, just because of my skin. Like, baby, don't get my hopes up. Don't get my hopes up. Um, as you can see, all my Botox is worn off. But my crow's feet still look good. We're still good over here. The forehead, it's still not as bad as it was before. Getting the Botox. But yeah, it's still not as bad as it was. And I got my Botox, what, in November? November and December of last year. So we're still looking good. We're still okay. It's like six to eight weeks. It's supposed to have maximum. It's supposed to have maximum effect. But I mean, it's still not terrible. I'm not... I'm not really upset with it. Miss Tina Martin with Angel Face Aesthetics. I love her. She's the only person that I will ever let do Botox on me. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. We might get more soon. I, I don't know. Like, I want it. I like it. But, I don't know. So, on to this foundation. So, we're going to go right on the back of my hand. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. So I'm just going to start with a three. Ooh, okay. I like the consistency a lot. I think we actually did get the right shade. We're just going to dip, dip, dip. No cuts. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, yeah, that's really light. Maybe it'll dry down. Ooh, yeah, that's way too light for me. Okay. Well. Okay, I'm not crazy about how that brush did. But baby, look at this coverage. Yeah. Okay. Blurred out my pores quite a bit. It feels very serum-like on the face. Which I am absolutely living for. And I am actually going to go in with my stippling brush. And we're just going to tap, 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 tap. Swipe a little bit up here. It's not streaking. I love the coverage. I feel like maybe I went in a little crazy. But, mm, we might have the right shade, I don't know. It still looks a little, a little pale to me. On camera, it washes me out a lot. But in person, it's not, it's not terrible. It is light. I could have gone maybe a shade darker. <laughs> but see what I'm saying? I always crease right here. Always. I always crease right there. And this actually isn't bad. Like, I do like it. It's very dewy. It's not shiny. Um, which, for me, I feel like a lot of luminous or dewy foundations, they have a lot of reflect in them. This does not. This just has a nice, dewy, like a skincare finish. Like, yeah, my skin is just very glowy. It looks kind of wet. Now, the bumps up here, you guys, is not the foundation. That's my skin. These bumps over here, that is my skin. That's not the foundation doing something weird. Now that it's drying down, actually it's getting a little bit, it's oxidizing a little bit. It's getting a little darker. Maybe the light's just too bright. Let's turn that down a little bit. There we go, that's better, okay. 
So it was just that beaming light, that real bright white light. It feels good. Now that it's drying down, it's very light. Yeah, it has a very serum-like quality to it. Yeah, it feels good. It feels really good on my skin. I'm actually really, like, that feels great. Okay. Okay, bitch. Okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't get that on camera because I almost fell on my face. <laughs> You ever be filming a video and everything's going great and then just all of a sudden stuff starts falling apart? <laughs> uh, baby, it happens. No, I like it. Like, I've had it on probably, I don't know, five, six minutes now. And it's getting close. It looks good. This is where I have the most problem with my pores. Um, and it's actually not settling into my pores. It's kind of floating on top. It's slightly blurring because of the dewy finish. Thank you, Mac. Um, okay. This, this is great. Now, that's by itself with a primer. That's no concealer. That's just foundation and primer. Now, let's see how it does with some other products. It's not transferring onto my hoodie. So I'm here for that. We're going to go in with my Tarte Cosmetics Man Eater Bronzer Stick, which I absolutely love. Um, and I use Shade Nightfall. So we're just going to uh, find the cheekbone. Uh. Now remember, when you're doing your contour, that your cheekbone is actually a cylinder like this. Your cheekbones are actually round. So your contour and your bronzer, or your contour should go underneath, blush should go right in the middle, and then the highlight on top to really give it that shape and really accentuate your cheekbones, if that's what you're going to do. If you're just not going for a nice summery glowy look, don't worry about it. The point of it is, the bronzer is blending out really, I mean, it's just, melting into this foundation. Here we go. Blend this out. I mean, it's pretty. This is definitely, this isn't, that's not normally the brush I use to do this, by the way. Here we go. There's my right brush, that's why. Right tools for the right job, kids. Always. So we're gonna boop, 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 boop. There we go. That's better. Okay, now I'm gonna fix this up a little bit. I mean, that's just kind of there. It's not as noticeable. Okay. Then the nose. It's gonna Buff that out. I mean, look at how nicely that just melted into this foundation, you guys. Call me a brown nose, that's fine. <laughs> I'm a dork, I know, don't mind me. Okay. That disappeared. That just melted into this foundation so flawlessly. That is beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. So, tens across the board on that. This is the Juvia's Place um, blushed liquid blushes. And I just want to... I just want to do a little bit because I don't want to take away from my foundation. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. That is really pretty on top of this foundation. It's blurring like even more now that I'm kind of patting it around. A little bit on the nose. Of course, got to have some color on our nose. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. That's really pretty. And it, yeah, it did in my mirror. It kind of blurred even more, 
where those pores are up through here. Did I just find a new favorite foundation again? First it was the NYX Bear With Me. Then it was the um, Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow. Now it's MAC. Um, actually, no, I should say. My first favorite foundation was the um, Fenty was the Fenty Pro Filter. That one was my favorite. That is still my favorite matte foundation. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm gonna set this, especially up here, so that we don't sweat it off. I'm finally almost through with this. I have been looking for a reason to buy a new setting spray. Not like I don't have four over here. Um. <laughs> baby let me bring let's see oh i can't zoom in or out damn it okay like that's beautiful you guys oh okay so this foundation for me right now is absolutely 10 out of 10 it's gorgeous it's very skin like it is very dewy it's a little I don't know, maybe it's just because of the light in my mirror. It's a little wet looking. So hopefully the setting spray might help with that. Or we'll just have to go in with another setting spray. Kind of dry it down a little bit. Hopefully mattify it a little bit. Um, also, if you have a foundation that is too wet looking or too um, shiny or whatever it may be, you can mix it with a powder like the, what is it, the KVD? I think it's KVD. No, I'm sorry, the Urban Decay Velvetizer, which I happen to have right here. Something like this. A very, very fine milled powder. And this is actually made to be mixed into a foundation to make it matte. So if you're too shiny, try just a light, very light dusting of powder just to bring the shine down a little bit. Um, I wouldn't recommend blotting paper because that can actually pull some of the foundation off or actually loosen it from your skin. And then you run the risk of it moving. So I might set this just a little bit. There we go. That's better. No, it's just me sweating. Okay, that's looking better. It's just hot because I'm sitting in a really small room with a hoodie on and a ring light and a mirror light. And <laughs> Not the most conducive conditions. Now, let's see. Here's the test. Oh, I mean, it creased. But not nearly as bad as some other foundations. And remember, I also didn't use concealer. I normally put concealer right there to help with that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, we've had this on for, what, 20 minutes? Closer to a half an hour now? I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> kind of here for it. So, um, next is eyes. And I'm just going to do a simple, uh, nothing major. I'm just going to do a really simple eye with my Profusion Pro Moonstone palette, which is on special right now on the Profusion website. It's the, this one, the Moonstone palette, and another palette that has a lot of primary colors in it. They're both, I believe, 42 shades, and they're on sale for $30 for the bundle. So go grab it. I'm going to grab one right as soon as I'm done filming this video for a giveaway. Um, like I said, I'm not doing anything crazy with this because it's all about, it's all about that base. Oh, sorry. I couldn't resist. Don't come at me. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm just, honestly, I'm just going to finish this up with some Wyoming winter lip oil and call it a day because we've already gone way too long. Nice little, excuse me, nice little cooling sensation. Hey, 
All right, so here we are. This is it. Uh, everything has blended flawlessly. Everything has settled. We're looking good. I'm actually going to hit this with some all-nighter just real quick because I actually don't want to take it off. It's so pretty. Whew. God, that sprays a lot. I forgot about that. <laughs> so, but final thoughts on this foundation. I love it. Again, this is the Max Studio Mac, God, Mac Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation. It retails for forty six dollars at Ulta. I'm absolutely in love with it. My face looks amazing. It's skin like. It's dewy. It's giving me life. I look healthy. I don't look. I really, honestly, kind of. It is medium coverage, so you can tell that I have makeup on, but it's not cakey. It's smooth. Um, yeah, I absolutely would re recommend this to anybody. And I do think that I found my new favorite foundation. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Show me some love. Like, subscribe, follow me on my other social medias. I've got so much more great content to come in 2024. I love you. Mwah. I hope you have a wonderful weekend.